All right, guys, going to do a quick video uh, explaining our Atom trade that I'm currently trying to get into and why. Um, you know, confidence level on this roughly like 70%. Um, that's why I'm keeping leverage low and averaging in <clears throat> as opposed to jumping all in at one price. Uh, maybe jump the gun a bit on that 2460 buy. Now we're sitting at 2380. Uh, just didn't really expect us to continue dumping into the daily close, which isn't great. Um, I'm just going to look at a few things on, <clears throat> you know, why I think we have support here. Um, so if you take this away, you know, this level here, right around 2370, has been shown as resistance again and again. Resistance, resistance in December. Um, you know, didn't quite make it on that run there. Resistance here, December 19th, right before it's dump to $21 is where when we took our original long that everyone made a ton of money on. Um, that we clo I closed it mostly at $28. I just never thought it would pull like a 2x. But anyway, um, this 2370 level was the market structure break. For that huge pump so you know this was resistance again and again you know we closed this four hour right on it dipped below and then just took off and we've never revisited 2370 since and that was December 21st it's been roughly two months we had the huge run you know up here whatever. we're coming all the way back down um, we're sitting on it right now so I think any dip below here, uh, I was also looking at that low time frame downtrend on the hourly. You can see here. So a nice tap of that as support would be perfect. Around 23.25, um, bids at 23.30 like I stated. And I'm targeting at least 27 to $28 for this trade. Um, you know, really anything below $23, my confidence level will kind of go down i'll probably de-risk not close out the entire position but uh you know drop the leverage which may will obviously raise my break even but will keep me alive to buy a dip if it comes back down to 21 dollars. so yeah so bid set 23.20 goes below 23 dollars. i cut those bids entirely for a one percent loss and i wait for this bottom here. Now, when I'm talking about effective leverage, um, the max leverage I have set on my account is 20x. Effective leverage is what I'm actually using. You know what I mean? So I still have buying power up to 20x, um, currently using 6x uh, with current buys. So what else I was looking at? Um, it's kind of the daily, I believe. So this is the daily slow mode. Literally at the bottom of the belt, it is turning red, which means you know we could break this. That's also something we'd be looking at. Right around below twenty-three dollars, we're breaking that. Definitely don't want a daily close below that. Uh, if you check it on normal mode, yeah. So I posted that right around the twenty-four sixty level in the beginning. I thought I was going to hold. We kind of just dumped down to my next support. Uh, roughly 3% dump since I posted that. So glad I only went 2x leverage on that first buy. Bought the rest around 2410, more 2380. So we are sitting right here. Um, again, below $23, I will cut the entire, like over half of the position. So um, that's kind of like another tactic that I use, you know, scaling stop losses. Managing your risk. I don't want to be max leverage long hoping for a bounce um, I'd rather just cut it or cut half of it and have a higher break even and trust in the plan that we're gonna go back up Or possibly buy this dip down at $21 if we get $21 and it breaks that then This is just full-on bear market because um, that was literally right where when we flipped that downtrend and I first posted that trade it was we we're at 21 bucks Proceeded to go to $44 after that call um, in this roughly two, three, two weeks. 
yeah, pulled a two X in two weeks. Um, so yeah, I mean, I it really depends on Bitcoin. Um, Bitcoin here, like we said, 36.2 K was our buy zone that we eventually flipped Had a nice bounce up to 45, 46, really 45.9. Um, bouncing that would be nice. I just drew this for the fuck of it. Something I could see happening. Um, but really 36.2 K is what I'm paying attention to. If we break that, go below it, um, or have a daily close below that level, then I'm no longer bullish, and at least in the short term. I'm thinking we probably at least come down to the bottom here, which we never did. That gig along entry, they front ran it right around 33K, so we will see. Um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Uh, ETH. And look at for a moment um really awful daily candle inverted hammer about to close in five minutes barely holding this 20 uh 2570 support literally resting on it doesn't look great something i'm exp <laughs> i don't know guys i'm kind of waiting for this daily close to see what's going to happen um either we bounce or i don't know it doesn't look great I'd be expecting this 2300 area um, looking at that candle anyway, unless it just pumps off the open. Don't trust to pump off the daily open ever, by the way. Um, if we do get a nice relief in the beginning, that's where you want to cut any position that you have. Um, if it dumps off the open and then pumps, then I'd trust it more. It just, if you pump the second we daily close and you know you have a net daily candle like this, it's usually not trustworthy so let's wait and see we got a couple minutes um what else i want to look at i want to look at solana so last night we were at 93.80 i opened a short i said average in anything above the trend um is a good sell because i doubt you know this was the trend that i've had since you know june july or even before that you know, we first bounced on it a couple times and it worked in our favor, pumped up to 120, you know, came back down, little bounce, lower high than the first one. Now we broke it, you know, we came back into it last night. <clears throat> we we're at $94. I shorted. I said anything above, short more. And now here we go. This daily is also about to close even uglier than ETH. Um, Really, from that top, it is down 14% roughly. So, yeah, down horrendous. Um, great short. If you guys got in with it, I'm still holding it. It was low leverage, so not a huge profit, but easy trade. Um, this is the kind of the plan I'm looking at. At this rate, after a close like this, we probably take out that low down here. Um, so yeah, kind of bearish on alts, to be honest, but bullish on Bitcoin. Bitcoin chart, this looks better than almost every alt right now. BNB don't look terrible, but this daily just came up to our buy zone, rejected, down. Uh, I'm just going to try and go over a few since the daily close is literally in 30 seconds. So we might as well keep the video live for it. Um... Serum, I know I posted a chart. Been waiting for our gig along entry around $1.70. Uh, you know, we've been down only since that high in September. Roughly, let's just check from this level here $13 down to current. We're down about 85% from all time high, 86%. So, yeah. I think we're getting pretty close there, guys. <laughs> um, $1.70 is where I want to get in. It's roughly about another 10% dip from here. <clears throat> so, yeah, there's that. There's the daily close. We closed above 37K, which is good news. 
let's delete that since it looks like shite. Um, check a little time frame. Yeah, so I don't want to see a giga pump off the daily. Like I said, usually not trustworthy. Maybe we get a move up to 37.4. I would short this. Why? Um, because basically I'm just going off the five minute comic coloring line. You can see, may have pumped up to it, tapped it, rejected here. So a move to right around 37.4, 37.5 would be a short if it happens very quickly. Usually, you know, everything's kind of pumping already, but yeah, let's see. Adam, back to Adam. So yeah, nice pump off our 23.70 level, back at 23.90, almost 1%, I'd say, just about. Yeah, 1%, so we'll see. I still think my bids get filled around here, 23.30, 23.20, might drop them down. You know, let's see, so. Oops. Yeah, probably around 23.20 would be right where it would tap it if it came down. So we will hold it for now. Hopefully that all makes sense. Um, yeah, this trade is risky, by the way. If you guys are not bullish and just blindly uh, following my calls, don't do so. Try and do your own research. Be looking at the chart. Have it make sense for you as well um, before you enter. You know, that's the kind of the goal of the group is to teach you guys on how to make your own decisions, not just to follow uh, someone else's trades. Um, so, yeah, let's see. This has held so far. I mean, again, this is a five-minute chart, but let's look at the hourly. Yeah, so hopefully that's the bottom. Bottom is in would be nice. Um, would like my bids get filled lower, but at least I filled some at 23.70. Um, Luna's been pumping really well. That was honestly the perfect fucking trade I posted the other day for everyone. Uh, long at 47.50, pumped up to $54 at a high. I sold a good portion of it here, right around $49 for the quick profit, the better break even, like I always do, just so you guys know. Um, looking at this now, though, all right, came up to the top, rejected, down to the bottom, long, bursted out of it, rejected this high time, for, <clears throat> high time frame resistance, back down, rejecting the upper belt, you know, that's a short signal, closed down. Now this current hourly, I guess literally just opened, pumped up retested the midline rejected all the way back down you know that's that's a short let's check what bitcoin's doing yeah kind of the same thing pump off the open 200 dollars rejected it still too early to tell since it's only 704 my time anyway four minutes into the daily see now it's coming back up so we will see um, I'll post updates in Barney Charts. Um, if you guys have any questions or any chart requests you want me to go over in a video in more in depth, I can do so. Just let me know. Um, but yeah, I'm going to end this video. I don't want it to be too long. So yeah, good luck trading, guys. And let me know if you have any questions.